Hey, this is Mike. Here's a 2015 Ram 1500 Laramie in white. And uh, this is the first 2015 Laramie that we had on the lot so far. And it looks pretty darn good. Has a lot of features. You see it has a projector light system here in the front. And it has the parking sensors here in the front and the back. Tow hooks fancy grill fog lights this is the vid this is the one I did a video on at night so you can check that out if you want so you can see all the the way the lights and everything look like at nighttime now this one's fresh off the truck so it hasn't been detailed or anything you can see it has uh, lettering and stuff on the tires but um, this one has a 5.7 liter Hemi and uh, let me go around this side has his 20 inch wheels. Now these are aluminum wheels with the plastic covers. Saves a lot of weight when you have the aluminum wheels um, versus like a, I don't think it even makes those big steel wheels anymore. But uh, one of the features of this vehicle is a remote start. Now it does have to be locked and completely secure. So I'm going to go ahead and use the key. This is a proximity key and start it up. So now that it started, I can put the key away. I mean, I don't really have to use the remote start, but um, now that it started, I'm gonna go ahead and put the key in my pocket and it's gonna stay there the rest of the time. So I'm gonna just walk up, touch the handle, it unlocks the doors with the proximity system. If I wanna relock the doors, I just push the button here. So, pretty convenient. And it unlocks all the doors, uh, even the tailgate. All the doors and the tailgate. So here's the inside of the passenger door. You've got a, like a nice big pocket there as well as there. And you've got a like a two-tone, it's like a brown and tan color. And you've got this real wood trim on the Laramies. Got the perforated leather seats that are heated and cooled and you also have heated seats in the back too power seat with lumbar support on the passenger and driver side got the laramie badge there and this opens up and you've got a glove compartment here as well as here you've got a place here that'll fit a full-size file folder on both sides of the console this one's got the nice um, ram rubber mats or like slush mats but they've got the cool ram head there and kind of like a bolt these bolt patterns looks like really rugged and it really protects your carpet and stuff like that as well definitely need a handle getting in and out of this truck so it's got a well placed handle here this one doesn't have steps but you could add them if you wanted to So here's the inside of the back door. Same quality, not skipping on anything just because it's a back door. You've got the wood grain, the different colors, the pockets, speaker. Here's the back seats. Same level of quality that you see in the, in the front. Perforated leather, now these are heated and the controls for the heated seats are here. And uh, Back here, we've got your armrest and cup holders here. You have some more cup holders here as well. Does have the latch system for the child safety seats. Pocket here. Now this seat, seat lifts up like so. And you have a fold flat feature to where you can uh, use this as a cargo space, a flat cargo space. So you don't have to put stuff in the back of the truck if you don't want this lifts up on the other side you have storage on this side you have your subwoofer and amplifier for your Alpine premium sound system so if you didn't have the Alpine sound system you would uh, this would be storage here and speaking of storage underneath this awesome one-piece mat that goes all the way across this all the way across the back uh, you have storage bins in the floor and it's kind of like a little 
you can put trash in there or you can some people put ice in there and use it as a cooler but it's a really good storage bin that's completely out of out of your way and it's on both sides this side and the other side in the floor You've got your LED tail lights back here, parking sensors, towing package, dual exhausts, you got your Laramie badge there, nice ram in the back. There's your backup camera. Let's see what it looks like underneath the truck. And of course, this is a four wheel drive truck. This says so right on the back. <laughs> Here's the, the bed of the truck. Now, this one doesn't have the spray and bed liner, which I highly recommend adding to a new vehicle or at least a plastic bed liner. But um, this one's completely unprotected, other than paint. You do have a cargo light there which illuminates the whole back, back of the truck here which you'll see in my other video at night. There's the fuel cap, it has a little string here and you can run the string right here so you can don't have your cap, cap slapping up against your truck so you can just kind of do that number. So here's the other side. Just wanted to show you the storage po container pocket place, I guess you'd call it, here. And it's pretty good size, and um, and also it keeps stuff in place. It's not rolling out underneath the seat and rolling around and getting in your way while you're driving. It's um, completely secure underneath that, as well as the seat. All right, now the rear view, the side mirrors are heated. You see the little heated sign there. Now here's the inside of the driver's door. Now you have the pockets, just like the other side. And you have the power windows, power door locks, side mirror controls, but you also have a, a uh, power folding side mirrors. So you just push a button and they, they can fold in or out is pretty neat convenient so that way if you're, you know, need to fit in a tight space or if you got a small garage or something um, it's pretty cool I got a bumblebee on wants to come visit all right so here's the inside and um, just want to start with the steering wheel leather wrapped good thickness it's very comfortable um, it is a tilt steering wheel no telescoping steering wheel but it does have the um, adjustable pedals so that kind of helps out with the so the pedals can raise and lower so it kind of compensates a little bit from not having a telescoping steering wheel here on the right You've got your cruise control settings here. You can. This is an eight-speed transmission, so you can gear up and gear down using these buttons. On the back of the steering wheel is the volume control. So you can keep your hand on the steering wheel. Now you can also change the stations on the back of the side, on this side of the steering wheel. So I can change through. Right now it's a satellite radio. And on a new truck, you get one year of satellite radio for free, which is pretty nice. 
See, it has automatic headlights. Your fog light controls are here. Your cargo light is there. Your dimmer switch is here. And on this side, you've got your voice recognition, which you can, you know, kind of stay commands or make phone calls and stuff using that button. And on this side is your Bluetooth phone. Now, once you pair your phone, you can answer and make calls just by using that one button. It's pretty neat. The rest of these arrow buttons correspond with this menu system here. And here's your gauges, and it's pretty simple, basic gauges here. But your menu, right now, um, basically I, have to, I use remote start, so I still have to push the button to turn everything on. And you've got that Laramie screen there. There we go. All right, so this menu system, right now I'm in the speedometer setting. And I'm gonna scroll down, and we've got um, vehicle info. So right now it's showing the engine hours. So I'm gonna scroll to the left, and right now it's a kind of a gauge summary. I'm gonna scroll to the left again. Oil life, oil temperature, transmission temperature, and tire pressure. And you can tell by these little bu bubbles here at the top how many different uh, options you have in that menu system right or left now scrolling down will just bring you to another category I guess you can say so I'm going to scroll down that takes me into fuel economy and, it, and now fuel economy gives me well, nothing now because I'm not driving but it'll give me an average current miles per gallon and like kind of a meter as you're driving this is your uh, trip A this is trip B this is for your trailer tow, trailer brake control. Um, this one is comes from the factory with the trailer brake control and you can adjust it uh, using this part of the menu. You can adjust the gain and all that stuff. There's your audio. Stored messages will show up there. And this is where you set up your screen. And go into that so you can see basically what different options the different corners of the screen you can change and then it scrolls back to the speedometer so it's pretty it's customizable and it gives you a lot of information that you might want to look at but not always stare at the whole time you have some lots of information there and your gauges as well you see it has a stitching here in the in the dash you've got a little pocket up here kind of shallow but it's maybe good for pins or maybe putting your cell phone temporarily or something there now here's your 8.4 8 Uconnect system this one has navigation and all that stuff I'll peel this off maybe that'll help you see it better a little bit of a glare right now but here's the icons across the bottom you got radio which is in now and you got AM FM satellite radio you can adjust the audio here media this is where you would um, add a like play a CD or see if you can see that a lot of glare but um, hopefully you can see it says a disc USB auxiliary and then it has a more down here and this shows your Bluetooth and SD card now, once you pair your Bluetooth phone or Bluetooth device, you can play music off of that device using the Bluetooth wirelessly. The rest of the, um, the rest of the inputs are in here. U SD, USB, and auxiliary. You also have a USB charger there. But moving on, here's the controls. Now, you have ventilated seats heated seats and a heating steering wheel here in the front and I know in the video it's kind of a glare there but really it's not that hard to see in real life controls alright so climate uh, climate's off so I'm gonna go ahead and and, um, and turn that on now so you can kinda see heat's on and it's a little bit hot outside so I'm going to turn that down so basically you can adjust your fan speed your temperature it has a dual zone right now they're synced 
button that does have a dual zone in case I want to start messing with this one it, it unsyncs it and, and it's specific to the driver and passenger. Navigation. You can view the map like so and you can change that little icon. Um, let's see here. Let's go ahead and, and change it now. Let's go into settings and uh, GPS map setup vehicle icon there it is so right now it's got like a Chrysler 200 and this is a truck so we want to change that I don't know what that is there's a truck we'll change it to a truck so now we got a little truck on the on the map and we can view the map and kind of see where we're at and zoom in and out but we can also put in addresses points of interest stuff like that to go to and you can save your home address and all that good stuff your phone there's nothing paired now but this once you pair your phone you'll see your phone book recent calls you have favorites there at the top and um, different settings now you can always transfer it back to your phone if you don't want to have a, if you want to have a private conversation you got a bunch of people in the truck with you apps some of these you have to register and basically pay for now some of the cool stuff like travel link that's with your satellite radio I'm gonna show you that in just a second let me show you something before that right here any of these apps that you may use that says via mobile that means it's using data from your cell phone so if you know if you have a limited data pack then you might want to make sure that you don't go over your limitations but moving back to travel link which is a pretty cool app this is where you can find like fuel prices and you can sort it by brand distance price and so if you need to find a, if you're in an area that you're not familiar with or if you just want to you know be super cheap and try to find the cheapest one uh, you can do that and and once let's say you want to find the nearest one you can click on it it'll tell you where it is in the phone number once you pair your phone you can call them and ask them questions you can hit go now and it'll put it in your navigation and tell you how exactly how to get there so pretty cool stuff you also have movie listings um, you have weather weather and weather maps and stuff. Travel Link is really cool. Alright, moving on down here. These are your kind of redundant buttons, but they're useful. Uh, you can adjust the climate control, the volume of the radio, tune through the stations um, without using the screen. You know, you just have your buttons down here. Trailer brake control is here. Now down here you also have some redundant buttons as far as your heated steering wheel, heated seats, and, and cooled seats. Your traction control button is there. Tow and haul button. Parking sensors. Rear and front. You can turn those off if you want in case they're annoying you or whatever. Now here's the shifter. Now this is a dial rotary shifter I guess you can call it. Your four wheel drive controls are down here. Now I'm going to go ahead and put it in reverse and that way you can see the backup camera pulls up here on the big screen as well as your parking sensors um, display shows up here so if you get start getting close to something it's gonna let you know by beeping at you and flashing and all kinds of stuff it doesn't want you to hit anything self preservation I guess so and also these lines you see those uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the steering wheel so you can see them moving around those lines give you an estimated trajectory of the vehicle while you're backing up and as you can see it goes the backup camera goes from the bumper all the way to the sky so you have a very good view I'm going to go ahead and put it back in park and down here you got a power conver inverter inverter converter 115 volt AC adapter basically pocket right there you got a pocket here nice big storage bin cup holders got a place to put business cards what it looks like there's a charger place to put some pins right here now this is your armrest and it has a nice ram there but this armrest lifts up and you have a storage container pocket here place to put some change small tablet something like that maybe in a cell phone to charge it you've got little places where cords can go in and out of this con this compartment there's your inputs for your radio like I showed you before now this whole thing lifts up and you have a big storage bin here as well as your CD player it's kinda hidden back there 
and CD players are kind of hidden out is not hidden they are phasing out so if you've got a bunch of CDs go ahead and turn them to another format before they completely phase out you know put them on a USB drive or, so, or a hard drive or something like that because CD players are kind of not gonna be in the future I guess you can say auto dim rear view mirror you got your 911 and assistance buttons there garage door controls here and yes your pirate power siding back glass up here we've got some tap lights visors have mirrors and lights same thing on the other side let's see what it looks like you got speakers there in the, in the roof the ceiling you got airbags pretty much all the way around anyway if you have any questions or anything let me know um, my name is Mike and my email address and phone number will be in the description see you next time